Here it is guys, the Soundcore Liberty 4 NC. We've been using it for the past few weeks. Wow, that feels good to be able to say that. Enough flexing, here are 10 reasons why you should or should not buy it. Khuridakh, we're DHRME. Dashing hearts, rakishly melodizing ears. Let's start with what we love about the Liberty 4 NC. 10 reasons, let's go. You might not have been the only one to think that it was weird that Soundcore took an existing product name and slapped two letters at the end of it. The NC in the Liberty 4 NC does live up to its name. We rank noise cancelling on this scale and the Liberty 4 NC came in at tier A guys. Impressive for a pair of buds at this price point. This puts them in the same class as the Sony Link Buds S and the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Especially at low-end sounds, the mids and highs were not quite as good, but still impressive overall. In the app, you can turn on wind noise reduction mode and it actually works. The wind doesn't disappear, but it definitely reduces a great deal. And to boot, you get adaptive ANC that changes ANC levels based on your surroundings. It's pretty noisy in these surroundings. That's a plus one. Fuck manan, listen up. There will be popsicles popped, icicles iced and tested. Pop, pop, popsicle, icicle, icicle. What do I think? There are two stories to be told here. Let's start with mine. My advice, stay away from the Liberty 4 NC for your calling needs. I've personally been told off by three different people already. Two colleagues found it hard to hear me on a Teams call and my voice wasn't clear to them. This happened in quiet conditions, mind you. I thought it was a Teams thing, but then the last person to complain was my mom on a cellular call. Moms can put up with a lot, but this was too much even for her. Yeah, for me too. I literally asked Kevin to stop using these buds even though we were in the midst of testing them. I personally didn't face these issues, so we think this might have to do with two things. One, the noise floor, and two, the kind of voice you have. <laughs> Kevin's deeper beard, I mean voice, probably somehow getting cancelled when he speaks in short bursts. For longer sentences without a pause, it seemed to work better. Whereas my not so deep voice tends to be picked up fine. So don't buy these buds if your testosterone is super high. Not to be outdone, I did face other issues with the Liberty 4 NC's microphones, especially with connectivity. When answering a WhatsApp call, the call wouldn't go to the buds, but stay on the phone instead. I had to manually change the microphone to the earbuds by hitting that Bluetooth button. And when I did change it, there were multiple instances that the call didn't actually switch to the buds, but switched back to the phone. Super annoying. So WhatsApp calls work fine for me, but as you can see, a mixed bag of opinions here, guys. Fingers crossed that some farmer updates fix these issues. Stay subscribed for updates. The way these buds open in combination with the white color we have here reminds me very much of space pods from Dragon Ball Z. Anyone else? No? Okay, well it may not be a space pod, but it can be a phone stand. And that large button to open the case is a unique design element that does many things. It helps you open the case one-handed, functions as a pairing button, and acts as a colorblind friendly battery indicator. That's a lot of tech packed into one tiny button. Thankfully, it also means that there's no tiny, shameful, dinky pairing button you need to dig into using the corner of your nail. <coughs> Status between 3A and C. Okay, and in true Soundcore fashion, the color options are plentiful. The Liberty 4 and C comes in five different colors. Uh, the color is different on the charging case, the silicone tips, and the stems. Oh. And speaking of those stems, the controls include volume. Yay! We did have to configure the triple tap to do volume in the app though. Okay, we're gonna be transparent about what's pushing our buttons, guys. More transparent than these buds are. We are not a fan of the transparency mode on the Liberty 4 NC. We rank them at tier C. The amount of ambient noise that gets piped in is just okay. The overall volume is rather suppressed and we find ourselves taking the buds out if we really need to be aware of our surroundings or need to speak to someone. But if you're in a rush and quickly need to let in environmental noise, these will be okay, but definitely nothing to write home about. And these buds might find their way to your home. We have a giveaway at the end of this video. Now, you might get these buds for $0, but let's not forget the price point for the rest of us. At the psychologically clever price of $99, Soundcore didn't cut corners in the features department. You get multi-point support, meaning the buds stay connected to two devices at the same time. You will sacrifice LDAC, of course, but we'll talk about sound quality in a bit. The charging case supports wireless charging if you're into that kind of thing. There's also a wear sensor on the buds, so your audio will automatically pause if you pull the buds out of your ear and will resume when you put them back in. No audio FOMO. And of course, the feature-rich Soundcore app, giving you so many options 
one must wonder if they're compensating for something. Either way, you can tweak the noise cancelling, you can change EQ presets, uh, you can select which device you're connected to and see a list of paired devices right from your app. The Liberty 4NC can only be operated using a touch sensor on either bud. No pinch like on the Liberty 4. We do like that when you tap the touch sensor, you get feedback in terms of a beep. What we don't like is that you have to hit the touch sensor at the right place. A bit to the edge or too low on the stem and it won't register. Oh, and if you set up volume control to be a triple tap, you need to time those taps properly. If the tap speed of all three taps isn't quite right, then may register it as a single or double tap. Overall, not the best implementation compared to buttons or a combination of input methods like touch and pressure sensitive stems or touch and buttons. Now the Liberty 4 NC has been really comfortable for us. The oval shaped silicone tips do a good job. And despite oval tips not being the optimal choice of fit, these did fit, fit us quite securely. Look, I'm running around like an idiot in a park and they aren't falling out. And especially it also has an IPX4 rating, so we would consider these for workouts. Soundcore does supply four sizes of tips in the box. Apart from that, the overall build quality feels solid. The case is reasonably pocketable, the hinge feels stable without any creakage. And since it closes and opens magnetically, you don't have to worry about mechanical parts ruining the closing mechanism. An opinion we both did share was that we love buds that support volume controls straight from the buds. Out of the box, these are not enabled. You can hop into the app and set, for example, the triple tap to volume up and down. Now this works fine for music, but they do not work for calls neither on cellular or WhatsApp. A real shame since we spend a lot of time on calls. And there's more guys, we also cannot change the ANC mode when on a call, nor mute the microphone straight from the buds. As we've come to expect from Soundcore, these are very good sounding buds for casual listening. There's big bass coming from those 11 millimeter drivers, LDAC on board for the best possible resolution. They also sound pretty decent without LDAC, which is important for the next reason that Kevin will talk about. Now, are these the best sounding true wireless earbuds in the world? Well, maybe not, but you know what? All our ears and heads are so different. What matters less is a single great sound signature, but more flexibility. And with the sheer amount of customization that the app offers the 22 EQ presets, yes, we counted, a Hear ID custom hearing test, we say you can pretty much get any sound out of it that you desire. Now, do we have criticisms about it? Sure we do. We'll save it for a rundown of the top wireless buds at $99. So stay subscribed for that video. The battery on the Liberty 4 NC is definitely full of life. Soundcore claims 10 hours on the buds without ANC and eight with ANC. After our DHRME battery test, we got 10 hours with ANC. That's with music playing at a reasonably loud but bearable volume and on the AAC codec. Now, this is top tier when it comes to battery life on ANC buds. Guys, these buds are great at the price Soundcore is selling them for, but you know what's a better price than that? Zero dollars. Yep, Soundcore sent out a few too many samples to us, maybe to show off all the color variants, but we don't need them. So we're giving away eight new sets of buds to you, our dear YouTube members and patrons. The higher the tier you're in, the greater your chance of winning one of these will be. And we don't trust YouTube comments after all the WhatsApp and Telegram spam. So we will be doing this giveaway on our website. For full instructions, terms and conditions, check out this link. We'll also have that in the description down below. You've been conscious of your test test testosterone. And we've been DHRME. Namaste. Namaste.